We are gonna be fishing the backyard pond and we are gonna be trying to catch, clean, and then cook every single species that we have in it. Oh! How you doing, big boy? You getting ready for winter? On, first no way. Trout, trout! Oh, you doubled it. We're doubled. We're doubled. Oh, we got a problem. Shoo! Before we jump in, I gotta let you know that Goose Squad is having a massive Black Friday sale and it's starting right now through November 27th. Right now through November 27th at Goonsquad.com. You get up to 70% off everything site wide. 30 to 70% off apparel, tackle, storage, 20% off rods and reels, and 50% off bundles, including the brand new stocking stuffer. And the best part is if you use promo code Flare, you'll take an additional 10% off your order at Goonsquad.com. So click the link down in the description down below from right now today with the damn up this video through the 27th you get any of the fishing gear this hoodie everything you see us use in today's video at goosequad.com at a huge huge discount link down in the description down below enjoy the rest of today's video Shoo! what's going on folks we are going to be fishing the backyard pond and we are going to be trying to catch clean and then cook every single species that we have in it okay if you guys haven't seen the video stocking yet there is a plethora of species in there and most of them are eater size but before we get into that we haven't been out of the animals for a while we've been busy hunting wait right? dude Junior, how, how you doing? Deb, how you like your friend? Deb, did you not? You didn't ask for this friend, did you? Deb? You hanging out with Deb? Deb, you alive, Deb? Get, wake up, Deb. Say, Deb, get up. Deb, wake up, Deb. She's just basking in the sun right now. I guess Deb. She's enjoying it. Yeah. Deb. Deb, hey. come on, Deb. Come on, Deb. What? I know. You ready for this? Excuse me. Oh! oh! <laughs> There's Deb. Deb, don't miss a meal. There you go, Debbie. You want a little snacky, snacky? Hey, little guy, come here. There you go, buddy. We knew Deb wasn't Deb. Only moves for food. De yeah, Deb's playing possum over there. I like the little curly tail buddy's got. You yeah, see he has a little curly tail over there. Hey! Yeah, you might trying to catch this sucker right now. Catch him. All right, easy, easy, easy. Dude, buddy's mobile. He's quick. She is not. Deb, you like your friend, Deb. I've seen him, but I've seen him pedal. They both, they'll sleep in there sometimes. Sometimes they'll sleep back in here. That's where we got her heat lamp going. That's where Deb stays nice and cozy. A little corner. Yeah, she likes that. Well, we've seen De Deb's been a lot more mobile now that she's got this little critter, which is good. Deb needs a little bit of exercise. Isn't that right, big girl? But that thing is not used to us. No, not yet. Might take a little bit of time, but how are these rabbits doing? Hey, how you doing? You guys munching? You eating some brekkie? Why are you all running? Come back. What, you don't like us after we took a look? Is that the problem? Hi, mommy. How are you and the ladies doing? So we still have two boys and then Theo. We're thinking about selling the two boys, okay? So we can move Theo into his own little big palace here. So that way he'll be nice and comfy for winter. But all these, are you guys really scared of me? Since when? I feel like they weren't ever scared of us. Why are you, mama, tell them we're fine. Look at that poop corner. Yeah, no You guys kidding. been in here for two weeks? You got two feet of poop over here. Look at them all. No, now they're, they're coming, I see. Come on. All right, well, they're not, they are not wanting to say hi, but they're all alive. We haven't lost any rabbits, okay? Mommy, don't do anything I wouldn't do. But rabbits are good. So yeah, over here, we've got the two boys still. Those dudes are hanging out, having a good time. But like I said, uh, hey, you sit down. You get down. Don't you do that. But Theo over here, he's lonesome and he'll still be lonesome, okay? But this is his little, this is like a summer house, okay? You know, like when this you get old, house. he's got, you know, you got your winter home and your summer home and the winter you go down to Florida and the summer you go up to Wisconsin or something, okay? This is Wisconsin for Theo. Isn't that right, Theo? This is your summer home, Theo. We've got a, the insulated igloo right here for him, so he's not cold, but I, I would like to give him a little bit more space. So the plan is to get rid of those two, sell them, move Theo over there so he's at least next to his broad and his kids, and then we don't have to have anything over here and everything. Then it's like, every, if you look, this is how I, this is what, how I had it in my dreams, okay? Everything's just right here. Easy peasy, heat lamps, food, water, all that good stuff. Ralph, what are you thinking, Ralph? Is that new water treating you good, Ralphie? Does it work now? Carlos is giving it a suck. No, we haven't fixed it. Yeah, no. right. Carlos, you giving it a suck, Carlos. Let's see it, buddy. Hey, how you doing, Ralphie? Give it a suck, Carlos. We're here. I see. Look at you. You're dripping. I saw you doing it. How you doing, big boy? You getting ready for winter? We're about ready for hay. Yeah. It's about that time. Hay season, boys. You guys are pretty much eating all the grass I gave. Can I help you? Don't. 
Why would you do that? Pretty much ate all the grass we gave them on pasture. Now we're ready for hay and to give the pasture a break and then it'll grow up and then we'll go. But it worked out, like the amount of acres we gave them was perfect. Like there's still grass out there. It's not too much, it's not too little. What exactly are you gonna do with my hand? I'm curious. Rip it off. <laughs> If I just let you do this right now, what are we gonna what are we gonna accomplish? But I don't have anything. What is he? You can bite that thing off like a carrot. Do you hear him? Yeah. What is it? What was it? Buddy, What's your deal. <laughs> we ain't got nothing for you, big boy. We ain't got nothing for you. Let me see. Let me take a look. You been in the dentist lately? What you got going on in there? Big boy. Oh, he's perfect. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Dale! How's it going, Dale? Dale's now the leader of the goat herd. That herd. <laughs> Those are, Dale, those are Dale's bitches right there, okay? Dale's girls, his females are right there. Every time we come out here, it's just Dale and them. Rick, Rick's just a loner, okay? He don't like to hang out with nobody. That's kind of the new dynamic. Carol, how you doing, Carol? I haven't seen you for a while. You doing good? You doing good? Hi, sweetie. You got the crazy look in your eyes, Carol. You ready for some hay? You guys are tired of walking around? And the goose still doesn't. He does that every time. Mm -hmm. So today we're gonna head to Walmart and we got to... We'll see you at Walmart. Shoo! All right, we're at Walmart. We don't have to get a ton of stuff, but okay, we're gonna go get stuff for Catch Queen Cooks and then maybe get a couple little dangle noodles, okay? But we got most of our Coogan Squad stuff at the house. We got the rods and reels, the lines of lures, all that good stuff. We still need to get some night crawlers here. Might find a couple things like salmon eggs and corn, stuff for the trout, and then obviously get the stuff for the Catch Queen Cook portion. I'm thinking fish sandwiches. You guys stay tuned. All right, here we go, folks. We did. Oh. Some fireballs? What do you think about that? Ball? Fireballs. Some little balls of fire? Some trout like these. And like these little yellow <laughs> jackets. Little ones with the you like the glitter? Yeah, I like the glitter. Big glitter guy, huh? So we got some of these as well. So we'll probably grab, grab a few of those. And we've got crappie. So we need to find, hopefully they got some live night crawlers. Yeah, I mean, they've got, we've got some of these little Guggen plastics back at the house that look similar to that. I'll use those. But something that looks like a minnow would be good. A night crawler and like a salmon egg. I think would be good. And we also have Guggen little micro crankbait. So depending on how hungry and active they are, granted we're going into the winter season, they might be they might be fired up. Anything else that would catch one of these little boogers? We've got a lot of bobbers at the house. Don't need the old new dot combo right here. This thing. Really? You think we should get that? Oh, Just yeah, the yeah. old one and done? Oh, that would catch the crap out of Yeah, that would. Look at this. Should we, should we get a pocket? Should we see if we can catch one with this? The old, pocket, com the old pocket combo, huh? I feel like you probably aren't going to do all that great with it. So, all right, well, we'll grab some salmon eggs grab some spinners, and like I said, we got most of it back at the house, and then corn would be another thing. I always catch trout, which you gotta be careful. You guys have informed me it's illegal in some places to use corn for trout. It's not illegal here, but you check your regulations. So we'll see you guys by the corn. Alrighty, folks, so now we gotta get stuff. Well, we still need to look for corn, but we patched the fish fry aisle. Yeah, so I'm thinking bluegills fry, crappie fry, trout, bake. So that's what we're thinking. So we're gonna have a few few options. Hopefully we can catch them all. That's gonna be the plan. The, the perch in there are not edible sized yet. So those are probably gonna be off off the deal for now. But let's see, we did remember we did that last time with the, the pheasant. So I, I remember it's a little crunchy. I feel like we need to go for more of just, is this New Orleans? Ooh, that might yeah. be pretty good. New Orleans style. New Orleans. Yeah, I like that. All right, bam. Let's try that. Let's give that a go. Okay, so that's two. done. You wanna try a couple different ones or what? What else do you see? See anything else that are good? No? All right, yeah, we'll, we'll stick roll with, with that. Louisiana. Louisiana it is. All right, so let's go down here. We already probably have oil at the house, fry. So we need to get stuff for a sandwich. And a good fish sandwich, in my opinion, it's gotta have a good sauce and a good bun. All right, where's my corn? Corn, ears, yep. Do you think they like sweet cream or corn and diced peppers or? Whole kernel corn. No salt added. Do they have any pop pop taps? Cause I don't want really, here, right here. Oh, perfect. See, I'm not, see, I don't have a can opener handy. So we're gonna do that. All right, now this is where they should have some good sauces for us. Good old fish sandwich. Sounds pretty good right now. What we got dangling? They got any, anything that looks like it'd go good on a fish sandwich? Garlic parmesan. Ooh, that, that would be too bad. You can get some Arby's horsey sauce. I think, doesn't that go on fish? Doesn't that go on their fish sandwich or no? Isn't this just like horse? Yeah. Oh no, there isn't. Try it on beef, pork, and chicken. No, we need something for fish. Oh, the, yeah, tartar. tartar. Okay. They don't have we're like getting tart, we're getting warmer. Tartar. We're getting warmer. What about garlic aioli? I feel like. What about? Let's hear me out. What? Yum yum fish sandwiches. Really? I mean, it says it's good for shrimp. That's close. How would that not be fire? Some yum yum sauce. Yum yum sauce is good on everything. All right, we're getting yum yum. So I'm 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 about that. Yum yum sauce. That that might be the deal. We're gonna make some yum yum sauce fish sandwiches. We got corn. We've got yum yum sauce. We got some lures. We gotta find some bread. You do the bun. Brioche. For fish sandwich. Which one do you like? 
Yeah, Bun or something? So it looks like McDonald's. Really? Fish fillet. A little fish fillet action. Brioche. You know what sounds good? Since huh. it's kind of like tis the season. A little pie. A little pumpkin pie action. Pumpkin. You're not a pumpkin guy? What no, kind, I like what do, you, what do you like for Thanksgiving? I think it's like the perfect size. I mean, we're going to get one for sure. It's almost yeah. getting to that time. we got chocolate cream, strawberry cream, lemon, cinnamon. Can't read that one. What, what kind do you like? Or, oh, there's pecan on the other side. Hang on, there's more. Let's, don't make a decision yet. Hang on now. We got more We got more options here. Cherry, apple, apple. Yes, no, that's it. Apple, yep, yep. We're on the same page. Yep. It's almost that time, ladies and gentlemen. Thanksgiving's coming up. I'm going to enjoy that. Okay. I think we got pretty much everything. We might go dangle and see if there's any like little slaw or anything like that. Other than that, we're gonna see you guys back at the house and give it a dangle. Stay tuned. Shoo! All right, we made it to the pond, folks. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's look good, folks. It's pretty clean. Not bad. Filter's still not running, but listen, the fish are not dead, to my knowledge at least. And the aerator that we got goes on every once in a while. It kind of keeps everything going. All you guys were worried about us over oxygenating, okay? The water. We don't do that. It just goes on time or turns on and off. But that's what it looks like. So we don't know what's what's alive, what's dead. There's some minnows actually, so I do know what's alive. Okay, so they haven't eaten all the minnows. So either they're not hungry, the minnows are too fast, or there's no predators in here and all of our big fish are dead. Those are kind of the options. Yeah, I mean, the fact there's that many minnows makes me slightly concerned because we haven't added any minnows since we got them. Every time I come down here, I see minnows. I'm like, well, then there's no reason to add any minnows. So we've got some Googan dangle sticks ready to go rock and roll. So that's the old bobber rig. Okay, so that would be your bluegill and your trout rig. So corn, or we got some night crawlers at Walmart. Or we've got a little Guggen underspin with a little miniature bandito on there as well. So that's more of your moving bait. Now you can still catch a bluegill on that and you can still catch a trout. So what I'm thinking, let's get this rigged up with a night crawler because I can kind of catch whatever. I honestly got trout on night crawlers. And we'll throw it in there and let it dangle. While that's dangling, then we can run and gun with the moving bait and go mobile with it. And we'll see what happens. All right, we got some Canadian night crawlers. It, didn't, it doesn't smell like maple syrup. I was I was curious about that. All right, so like I said, this could kind of catch whatever, hoping it at least gets our bluegill out of the way. And then we can transition to more trout friendly items like eggs and corn. And then hopefully I'm, ca I'm hoping to catch the crappie on the moving bait. That's at least the plan. So go ahead and thread this guy up a few times. Pinch him off like that. Bobber action. This is an eight foot pond, eight foot deep pond. So I might go down. Maybe like four foot. We'll split it right in the middle. It looks like four foot to me. All right, well, imagine how fast this is going to be. Is it just going to be like crazy? Hopefully. It's we've, it's the first time we've ever fished the pond, ever. Hopefully it's dialed. I don't know if they're over Well, there. it's not where I was. <laughs> Maybe I'll throw it right in the middle. There it is. That should right. do the trick. You might be thinking, Flair, why are you catching and eating the fish hatchery fish if they're fish hatchery fish? Because I'm hungry and fish sounded good today. And I'm curious if the fish will even bite because we've never fished it before. All right, we'll let the night crawler do its thing. Hopefully nothing pulls it in. Now we're gonna go mobile. Let's throw this little guy, a little underspin. Kind of looks like a little minnow. So let's see if anything's active. On first no cast. No way. Trout, trout, really? trout. On the first cast. On the first cast. On the Guggen. No way. No way, the dude. The pond's dial. Oh sh. The, the, hang on. Oh, the bobber's mobile. Bobber's moving. Bobber's mobile. Is it moving, moving? She's okay. moving. There's plenty of worm on Okay, there. all right. Your Let's see. Right here. Yep. There you go. All right, he's going in. We're getting mobile. Yes. Oh, he oh. come off. He come off. He come off. Okay, all right. Okay. All right, hatchery. <laughs> I can already see the comment. Flea, what'd you expect? You're fishing a barrel over here. But, dude, for us not ever fishing or even having real proof that there's still fish in here, since there's still minnows that are alive, I mean, that makes me question things. So that, I'm not sure what that could have been. The fact we got a trout out of the way is pretty good. Yeah. So I was looking forward to eating some trout. Now, we just gotta get the crappie to participate. And there are some trophy, borderline state record size bluegills in here. You may not believe me, but if you go watch the stocking video, they're huge, because they're hybrids. Like, they're massive. I'm hoping that's what we get one of them suckers. Because honestly, those, I'm probably not going to put in the big pond. I'm also not going to put the crappie in the big pond. I'm also not going to put the trout in the big pond. This so, is just for fun. This is just a, 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 for fun. Yeah, geez. I think your bobber's all. Really? There's other ones. How, how did I miss the, I don't even know. But, it's beside the point. Look out. Let him do his thing. I can get Buddy some water here. Oh, you're on, you're on, you're on. Really? You're getting swacked. Come on now. Oh, how? 
He stole your worm. How is it po how is that possible? Third time's the charm. First cast with the trout. Yeah, that was pretty dialed. That's fire. pretty dialed. That's pretty dialed. Yep. Oh. We're on. Oh. Big, big trout. No, Is it? Oh, oh shoot. We're doubled. We're You're doubled. doubled. We're doubled. We're doubled. No risk. All right, trout's landed. We're good. <laughs> Going over here. Let's see. Let's what see. Got? Bluegill. Big Let's eater, go. son. Big eater. Let's go. Yes. Yes, <laughs> doubled <laughs> up. We'll, we'll put our trout friend back because we don't need to eat more than one of him, but that's an eater. That'll do, all right. Sorry, friend. Dude, they love that. They do love that little deal. The trout are about it. Put you back. All right, there he goes. Oh, yeah, he's Dude. Dialed. Wow, I love the hatchery. This is crazy. <laughs> I think anybody would. Yeah, 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 I agree. It's not like the fishing's difficult. It's a small body of water. It's basically a swimming pool. One day, it will serve its purpose, which is to grow fish. Our ultimate plan here at the dry pond farms, all right, in the backyard here. I'm standing right now. It's going to be another hatchery that's actually going to be for spawning. The pond I'm catching fish out of right now is going to be our grow pond, and then we will have our big pond. And so we'll have things hatch. We'll have things grow, and then we'll obviously throw them in the lake, and then our plan is to catch fish out of the lake, not these little grow ponds. But this year, we wanted to make sure that the grow ponds would keep fish alive and not kill them, because you guys think I kill everything. Partially true at times. But obviously, these guys have been chilling for three weeks without a problem. So this is, to me, this is just proof that the fish can survive and hopefully thrive in this pond environment. And then we'll have them spawn, we'll bring them here, we'll grow them up, then we'll take them to the pond, we'll have this whole system here to basically make that big pond. Oh, God. Uh oh We're going to make that big pond a trophy pond. Oh, yeah, she's under. Oh, she's what do you got, trout? What do you got? Is that no trout? Oh, oh it was, that was a little a trout. trout. On the crawl, everything's horny about the crawler. Everything loves a good crawler. Everything's about the crawler. We're the crappie. Yeah. We put a lot of crappie in here. Big ones, too. Real big crappie. That's the question. Where do them crappies go? Crappies, they're, they're some minnow-eating sons of guns, so I feel like if I can get my little spinner deal down there, wherever they're schooled up at, it would be in business. <laughs> hey, guys. My name's Andrew Van Dam out here, catching all these fish. Oh, oh God, it's gone. I'm doubled. Oh, I'm God. Doubled. <laughs> okay. Is that crappie? Crappie. Crappie. No. No, that's a trout. trout. It's a trout. It's a trout. Okay, sorry. I got excited. <clears throat> Yeah, well, all right, he's going back. What happened here? I don't know, that thing was getting hammered. No, he's not. How do you have a defective bobber rig? Ah, uh, bobber's getting mobile. Oh God, that's real mobile. Oh, and I'm doubled again. Oh Damn. my gosh, another trout. Another trout. Another trout. Your kid, dude, you can't keep the trout off. Oh God, the bobber. She's down. She's not now. No, we're on. No. We're on. Oh God, another Double trout. trout. Double trout. Two trout. Double trout. <laughs> We're double trouted. <laughs> we got two of them. All right, they're eating worms. They're eating spinners. I bet they'd eat ass if they had the option. All right. Appreciate it, friend. Good lord, that's a fat sucker too. Well, if you ever want to catch trout, I know I got a spot. You got a spot. Yeah, I know you. a guy. All right. How do we only catch crappie? Crank? Know. Should we get a crankbait out, maybe? Yeah, no, those trout will hammer it. You think? <laughs> yeah, they will. I mean, you try it. What if we throw one of the bigger ones? Trout can't get because their mouth's not as big. Yeah, like. I'm worried about cutting a hole in your nice liner. You think so? I think if we rip one of these suckers. You one of these or you guys, could, so you can go kind of vertical. I was going to say, or I could just rip. I could, straight, yeah. I could straight trap them. I mean, we throw the old Guggen yeah. ripper right there, buddy. Yeah. Kind of like the should idea we do, of the should old we do trap. that. So you can kind of go up and down. Just get it, something to chase it a little bit more. I feel like uh -huh. crappie are, I feel like are more active than trout, but dude, not today. All right, ripping up. Here we go. All right, well, crappie, they're not about this. It is deep. What if you get one of these little guys? Okay, That'll just right away get down. Cause I'm mm -hmm. thinking, I don't think everything's really shallow right now. I think they're probably hugging the bottom or schooled up somewhere. I'm gonna try one of these little guys, little medium divers. See if I can get down there. A big old slab crappie. That is the only thing we're missing right now out of the mukbang trifecta grand slam 
backyard hatchery catch clean cook. We're cranking now, boys. Ron, trout, you horny trout. Dude, never did I think it'd be impossible to catch a crappie out here. Now I get to get these in my hand. That's yep. what I enjoy about all this. All right, that's enough from you, mister. I'm looking for your crappie friend down there. Not you. See ya. Oh, we're on. What do you think? What do you think? Uh, fighting like a trout. It is fighting like a trout. It's yeah, fighting like a, a trout. dirty trout. That's a big ass <laughs> trout too. What the heck? What are you doing, buddy? Where's your crappie friends? You just need to just do me a favor and don't move for a second. Not what I'm after. All right, we got a jig head, and the only thing I could find that looked like a minnow. I'm hoping that's the case. We'll throw it right in the middle. I'm gonna get it down low before them trout can even sniff it. Let her sink down to the bottom and hope that the crappie are down there. And just bam. We're on. Imagine if that's the crappie. It's gotta be a trout. Trout! What? I thought you weren't supposed to be. I'm convinced they'd eat ass. I'm convinced. <laughs> the craziest part is there's hundreds of minnows still in here. Uh huh. And it's been weeks. Like, that's what my bait is now. This is a minnow. So, why, if they're that crate, like, fired up, are they too slow for real minnows? Like, what's their deal? They're pretty fast. I mean, they're sold moving baits and stuff. Where are the crappie? This is going to be the mystery. I might have to get the underwater drone back out. I'm gonna get the freaking panoptics fired up here in a second. I mean, how many do we put 40 of them in here? Yeah, dude, what the heck? For this size of a pond, that's so many crappie. That's so many crappie. Oh, we're on. Ooh, that feels good. Ooh. Yeah, big old trout. Big old <laughs> trout, buddy. Monster trout. That is just an absolute tanker of a trout. Oh. What? Dude, we got a problem. No way. They're eating our perch? They're eating our perch. If they are, the crappie definitely are. That's why the crappie aren't hungry. So we gotta get something that looks like a perch. Maybe. They're on the perch pattern. Buddy. Son of a gun. What the <laughs> Sam hell? You you were supposed to turn into something I would eat this winter. That right there is a perch. And all, all ours are not all that small, okay? But that's actually, I didn't realize we put that many small ones in there. Yeah. This explains why the crappie are not biting because they've had unlimited fat perch to eat. Expensive perch. Wow, these trout are fired up. Yeah. Our perch? Now I'm going to kill every single one of them, you son of a gun. Well, I'm going to throw another minnow on. Hopefully, hopefully we can find one. How many trout put in this sucker? Crappie, crappie, crappie! <laughs> look at that crappie! She oh, look out. Hey, how's it going? Sheesh! Okay, so Finally. we figured it out. Okay, you were over there giving in dangle noodle with the noodle. Hey, you calm down, Rick. And I put on the old square bill chartreuse. We found out that the crappie are suspended like a foot and a half below the surface. We could see them under the weeds. Jake could see them on the other side. He went to the weed side. I sit over here. So I pitched it in there and was reeling really slow. And I think the trout are, see, we thought it was the opposite. Uh -huh. I thought the crappie were down, yeah. trout were up. No. Trout were down, crappie were up. And so I just slow rolled it. Look, he just grabbed the old backhand of the treble hook there, buddy. Yeah, you're gonna make a good sandwich, my friend. Good sandwich. So they've got this little pink, the pink, they came with that. The lipstick, it's got, it's yeah. Got, it's gotta be like a little disease of some yeah, sort. It must have something. We've got trout, we got bluegill, and we got ourselves a little crappie. And now this should be hopefully enough for a sandwich. And then the trout, God, they're in there good. In the bucket. Trout's blinded by the light. There you have it, folks. Finally caught all three. Had to switch it up. It's Mr. Bright Chartreuse and just put it right under the surface, make it easy for them. I'm guessing they're maybe they're nighttime feeders, but it seemed like they were just lethargic as all get out. The other thing was, time of year, they the, might be up where the sun is. The other thing that was crazy is Jake started throwing the worm again. No more bluegills. Yeah, I don't know. So what it's that. like just trout are dominant in the sucker. But all I know is we got all three fish that live in here that are edible. We'll see you guys inside. 
Shoo! The old trifecta in the backyard pond, ladies and gentlemen. We got bluegill, we got trout, and we got crop. We're gonna go ahead and clean them up. As you guys know on YouTube, we cannot show you, unfortunately. We've had more videos this year get demonetized than ever before, believe it or not. Walmart with Wild Willie, gone. The tour of the lease, gone. Uh, P90. That, yeah, the P, that was, was that, oh, was, oh no, that was just straight up P90, yeah, P90 video, gone. Pawn shop video we did The pawn shop video, gone. gone. So, you know, it's tough out here. So, if you guys want to see us clean these, or any other of the uncut stuff, uncut's linked down in the description, as it always is in every video. You can check it out there. On YouTube, we can't show you. So, we'll see you guys in the kitchen. Shoo! We made it inside, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Trout, cleaned, headless, and ready for the oven. These guys on the other hand, we got bluegill and we got the crappie with the oil heated up with some egg wash ready to rock and roll with some Louisiana fish fry for our fish sandwiches. So we're gonna start with the trout because he's gonna take about 10, 15 minutes in the oven, okay? And we're just gonna straight up, we're gonna go easy. All meat seasoning, okay? This all meat, you put on literally everything, including trout. So we're gonna go ahead, season the outside and the inside like that. Op open her up. Yep, the oven's done. Season her up. Yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, a little more air, okay. Bam. Then, we got some garlic and herb. Carry gold butter. So what we'll do is we're gonna take this butter, and the one thing we didn't get was lemon, okay? A lot of times we put lemon in it. You can do like dill, you can do parsley, but if you just get one of these little suckers, okay? And just put some little cuts of butter in it. You just take these little pads of butter. You slip it in there, tuck it to bed. That's really all you need. Super simple recipe, nothing too crazy. That garlic and herbs gonna give it all the nice flavors, plus the all meat. We're gonna throw it in the oven at 400 for like 10 to 15 minutes or so. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up in foil, just to keep that moisture in. That'll help make it nice and tender. Crimp the edges like that. And we're just gonna pop this sucker right in the oven. 400 for, I'm gonna set a timer for 10 minutes. Hopefully it's done in that time. Bam, 10 minutes set. So what we're gonna do is we got some eggs. We're gonna go ahead and mix them up for the wash. We're not doing the hot sauce today. We're just gonna do some basic fish sandwiches. Go ahead and mix this up nicely, like so. All right, we got another bowl here. So this is where the batter's gonna go. So we're take the batter, go ahead and open this guy up. Go ahead and dump them in. Oh God, yeah. All right, so what we'll do is we'll take our fish and just go ahead and give them a dunk. Let them soak in there for a second. This will help the binding of the batter. Go ahead and flip it in there, mix it real nice like that. Bam, right in there that goes. Go ahead and pack it in there. You can beat it if you want. You just wanna make sure there's a nice coating on there. Bam. Oh God, yeah. Crank that sucker up just a little bit. Oh yeah, baby. Same thing. Take that crappie, throw them in there, pack it down. This should be good. I think it'd be close to, we might be able to get two sammies off of this. Two sammies? It might be. Two pieces per. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. One, you, maybe one crappie bill? and one bluegill. Yeah. yeah. Shake it off, shake off the excess. It's breaded to perfection. Lay it away from you. Nobody likes getting burned, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, be safe out there. Go ahead and mix up the rest of it. Oh yeah, now we're cooking with grease, boys. Couple little nuggies. Couple little nuggies. That, shake it off. Yep. We got one more in there. Oh god, yeah. I'm excited. We're gonna toast the buns too. Oh, and I forgot we got yum yum sauce. Oh, god, That's dude. gonna be new. We've never done yum yum sauce with fish before. She is frying up nicely. Once they start to float, get golden crispy. Take them out, cool them off. And we're gonna build ourselves a sandwich. You guys stay tuned. Sheesh! Look at them little crispy, son. Yeah, buddy. Oh my gosh, these look fantastic. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that guy off. So what, we need to get some normal butter, and then we've got our brioche buns. Nobody likes a non-toasted bun. Toasted bun is gonna, it's just really what's gonna seal the deal. It makes it seem like you're at like a restaurant, you know, where they toast the bun, it's gonna taste good. All right, we got some normal butter, it expires today. So we're still in business. This is probably <laughs> from the summer. It smells like butter, we're good. All right, now depending on what you're doing, you could use the garlic and herb. I think the yum yum sauce being sweet might have a little weird effect to it. So we're gonna just not risk it. Go ahead and just throw in some regular butter here. 
That's, that's definitely melting now for being on that hot burger. Oh god, yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, some butter cooking here. All right, bam, 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 bam. Toasted buttery buns, okay. Then we've got, we ended up getting some slaw, which I wish it was like actual coleslaw with the sauce. But I'll be honest, Walmart does not have the coleslaw dial. Their coleslaw makes me want to throw up on a regular basis. But this will just give it a little bit of a crunch, and I think if you soak it in yum yum sauce, yeah. it'll give it the same the same effect, I'm guessing. Go ahead and get these guys nice and toasty. Woo hoo hoo! Yep. They're getting there, fellas. They are getting there. All right, so let's see. Get the yum yum sauce fired up. Bone, bones. Buns are gonna get toasty. Trout's gonna get cooked. I'm excited. The first catch and cook, fish catch cook in the backyard ever, right? Yeah, I think so. Hopefully it doesn't taste like ass. You guys stay tuned. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yikes. Okay, hang on. Don't worry, I got a spoon. <laughs> now we're, we're good. Look at that. Nice salt. Look at the. You like that? Yeah. It's like those ASMR TikToks I listen to, you know what I mean? You big into that? No, you are though. You talk about it all the time. <laughs> that one girl, the what'd she say? Ooh, ice cream's so good. Yeah. She's always eating ice cream. I don't know what her deal is. She's always making sounds. I don't know. People, I, I'm not, I don't get it. Like, I think it's funny, but like, I'm not like, oh God, yeah. She's <laughs> popping popcorn with a flat iron. I'm excited now. Like, I think people on TikTok, oh, there's my alarm. I think people on TikTok are just, they're just a little strange, I feel like. I'm not sure. All right, so we're gonna do, Let's see, that's, dude, this is, that's quite a bit. This is gonna be the crappie. That's a, okay, that's a mega sandwich. All right, that's one, that's pretty impressive. That yeah, that's, that's one crappie. That's a lot of food. And then we got one gill. That's still a sufficient sandwich, I would say. Yeah. Take some salt, which one do you, which one do you want? Crappie or bluegill? Or we can cut them in half. I'll go gill. You wanna go with the gill? All right, so I'm gonna throw some dirty slaw right on top. Yep. And, and since it's dry slaw, we're gonna have to fix that. Just go ahead and add a little extra yum yum sauce. All right. That looks awesome. This looks pretty solid. Little backyard fish Sammy. <clears throat> Trout. Bang. Woo. Oh, baby. I don't know, is that done or not? Doesn't taste raw. Yeah, we're gonna throw it back. We're gonna throw it back in. I'm just gonna leave her. Leave her exposed. All right, we'll throw her back in. We already got our fish sandwich ready. Yum yum sauce, crappie fish Sammy. Ooh, that's hot. Huh. Oh. Isn't that hot? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. It's not a small bite either. Mm-mm, oh, that went deep. That's really good though. Really? Yeah. That was the yum yum on there. Mm. Honestly, could use some more. Dude, that's a good fish sandwich. I mean, look at that. That's a lot of meat, dude. Yeah, One crappie? You're kidding me, pal. Go ahead and just drizzle that on there some more. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm mean, the deal. Really? Mm hmm. It just reminds me of hibachi. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. That's a killer sandwich. For only a few ingredients, I'm about it. Would you do that over a normal Sammy's? Like over like tartar sauce and stuff? Tartar sauce with the coleslaw that we normally do it. I think so. Yum yum's better. I like yum yum better, yeah. All right, you're going for big bluegill, huh? Yeah, this is all hot. Yeah, everything's hot. Here's everything's hot. hot. Yeah, everything's hot. Yeah, there it is. Sheesh. All right. Oh, God, yeah. Here it is. Bluegill Sammy. Bluegill. You like bluegill or crappie better? Crappie. Really? Mm -hmm. What's that got to say? Is that the deal? That's the deal. Yeah. I prefer yum yum. Yeah, dude, yum yum's the deal. That might be a move. That was a good idea. Done this before. Yeah, that was a really good idea. Yum yum goes hard. That's insane. Yeah, I'm a big yum yum guy. Glad we didn't get one more coleslaw. No, that, 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 that would have ruined it. Yeah, for Deal. sure. Slaw and yum yum. That's the move. Sheesh. That's looking a little better, ladies and gentlemen. All right, time to fork it. Oh yeah. See, that's what you want. See, that wasn't happening before. That's important that you get that skin to just. Yep. That's how you know you did it. That's. That's how you know it's done. Fresh backyard trout, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Right off the bone, steamy. Dude, all meat goes hard, dude. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. You can see the, how the ribs go. You just take your fork and you slide it right off. Boneless, fresh, steamy hot trout. I garlic butter is a deal. Really? Dude, 
for the little amount of effort we just put into that sucker. I mean, I'm all about just simplicity. Look at it just dripping. Oh, yeah, that butter. Mm, okay, there's a bone there. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that guy came out of, out of the left field there, but this is really good. We've had some trout that are really fishy. Not that this one. Something. No. It looks really white. It's, this is like really good trout. I'm about this. I'm, I am about this trout. It makes me excited because we can do a bunch of different recipes with trout. Comment down below if you guys use any trout recipes. Like we've done trout dip before, which is really good. But since we've got these, and apparently they're freaking just hornier than hell in that pond because that's all we could hardly catch. This winter, ice fishing, we're going to be catching lots of trout. We're going to be eating lots of trout. So we need your recipes. All right, let me give it a try. Oh, yep. adding a little in there, huh? A little extra sprinkle can't hurt. Right? A little extra spicy spice. Oh god, yeah, she's just falling apart. Scooping in that butter, sheesh. Oh god, yeah, that all. Yeah, all that's the deal, buddy. That's that is trout. the deal. Look at that. You're right. It's not fishy at all. Mm-hmm. You're about that. I'm about that. Really? Yeah, we're gonna have to eat a lot of these. Yeah. No, those aren't. They're not gonna go to waste. That's for yeah. sure. Flaky. Yeah. Tender. That's the deal. Garlic butter. Yeah, the garlic butter. That saves it. So. Or it's not over, folks. Okay, we've got some pies to eat. When I saw this pie, I said, I'm gonna grab me pumpkin pie. And I got home and went, that's a sweet potato pie. Tell me that's not false advertising. It looks just like a pumpkin pie. They should have made it more obvious. Cause now, you gotta eat a sweet potato pie. <laughs> a sweet potato pie. I kind of like the convenience of this though. Yeah, those are cool. I think that's a pumpkin pie. Really? If you didn't tell me, you wouldn't like, know. No, no way. That tastes like a pumpkin. There's no way, a sweet that, potato tastes like pumpkin pie. That tastes like a pumpkin pie. Think about a sweet potato. I see a pumpkin. No way. Yeah. I don't buy it. Mm -hmm. No, that's a pumpkin pie. <laughs> no that's way. not a sweet potato pie. That's a like pumpkin pie. That tastes nothing like a sweet potato. It's got that spice that pumpkins have. I thought you were gonna throw it up. No, that's honestly, I'm about it. That ain't bad. Now we've got this. Apple, dude, why don't we, we gotta get these more often. I think it's like a duck blind <laughs> snack yeah, right here, dude. Yo, personal Just ready to go. Mm, mm-hmm, yeah. A little apple. Apple is one of my favorite. Yeah, it needs to be heated up a little bit. You can just sit that little tin on a burner and mm -hmm. apply it though. No instruction for heating, but I think it could use a little bit of heat. That's pretty good. All right, I want you to decide if you think <laughs> it's a sweet potato pie or a pumpkin pie, because it tastes All like right. a freaking pumpkin pie. Do you like sweet potatoes or no? Uh-huh. Like, don't think about sweet potato. Just eat it, look at it, and eat it. And what would you think it is? Pumpkin pie. That's what I'm saying. They're lying. That's not sweet potato. I think they've put it in the wrong box. First ingredient, sweet potatoes. <laughs> That's a lie. That's a pumpkin pie. You can't convince me otherwise. That is a pumpkin pie, 110%. There is heating in short. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, the other one, I didn't see it on there. So maybe maybe we should have done that. Put them in the oven. They're really? a little sour to this. It, it's, you know what that is? It, no, I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's a touch off, but you can't tell me that's not a pumpkin pie. Oh, this, I'm excited about that. that looks good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. That, that makes you feel like you're doing something around Thanksgiving time. You, like you that? sit that little tin right on a little burner in a duck blind? That's what I'm saying. I think you got something going on. I want to buy more of these. They have like 90 flavors. I know. We got to go back. I think we got to do a mukbang and try every single one of them. I'm an apple guy for sure. Though. Really? Mm -hmm. Shoo! Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today's episode. We went out to the backyard and we caught every single fish in the hatchery. That was edible. Catch clean, cooked it up, and it was all phenomenal. We're gonna need your guys' help though to give us some more recipes because we got ice fishing coming up. We're gonna be straight harvesting the crappie, the bluegill, the trout. We literally put them in there for ice fishing videos, for harvest videos, and just for fun. Take the kids out there, take the nieces and nephews. They go catch some fish out there. It's, we're not gonna take these fish and put them in the big pond. These are just straight up for fun fish. So we need your guys' recipe ideas in the comment section down below. And remember, Guggen is having massive sales right now up to 70% off, which will be linked down in the description down below. And you can use promo code FLIRT to get an additional 10% off. Go catch next time and peace.